Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. It has been so much fun to watch my channel grow and it just keeps getting bigger and I thank you all so much for that. I know not everybody knows what watch hours are, but I am almost to my 4,000 watch hours. So all of you who are also growing with me, you know what that means and that's really exciting. So thank you so much everybody. I'm at um literally like I need five more hours and I'm at 3,800 watch hours. But I also need a lot more subscribers. I need a thousand and I am at, as of recording today, 663, which I thank you guys so much for all of you who have joined my YouTube family. If you haven't yet already, please, please join my YouTube family. Hit that subscribe button. My pups are going crazy. Gertrude, Gertie, they're going crazy over there. So <clears throat> thank you so much. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. Also, um, I'm going to remind you guys, Frugal J is having a giveaway over on her channel for breast cancer awareness, and I will link that particular video down below. Her giveaway is amazing. It is not just some Dollar Tree items. It is amazing. And so and she's asking for some donations to go to breast cancer awareness. She's raising awareness. It is amazing that she's using her platform for that. So head over to her channel. The link for that particular video is down below in my description box and so is her, the link just for her channel you should you should join frugal J. she's amazing she's my favorite so with all that i do have a dollar tree haul and i have like three items i picked up at target and so i wanted to show you guys these items also i received a card in the mail so this is from sally so if you watched my videos i mean it was quite a while back because i held on to the stuff for way too long but sally is a huge supporter of so many of our channels here on youtube and so i just wanted to give her a shout out and give her some appreciation she was looking for the nomi's like uh mat or uh mitt and the, the nomi set the towel the mitt and the pot holders man that's hard and of course i tossed in whatever else i could toss in for her so thank you sally i got your card i appreciate you so much and she's also sent a little goodie in here so it's just a, one of the high cards she sent a little goodie a little notepad and i love notepads i'm a list writer and some cute little halloween stickers in there too so thank you sally i got your card and i so appreciate you still that doesn't end even though i already sent you your little gift so and I know a lot of other ladies feel the same way who all, we all have the channels. All right, so getting into my Dollar Tree haul. If you are on my Instagram, you saw that just the other day we did a charcuterie board for dinner. And I didn't have a chance to haul the stuff because I like went shopping right before dinner. Actually, hold on. Pods. Okay, I forgot the stuff that was in the fridge. I had to go grab it out of the fridge. So if you're on my Instagram account, it's at Amber's to-do list. I did a picture of our charcuterie board we did the other night for dinner. And I had to pick up a few of the items from Dollar Tree to put onto the charcuterie board. And it was dinner time. Of course, I didn't have time to haul it, you know, right then. And so I wanted to show you the items that I put on our charcuterie tray. So first I did some of these crackers. I don't think I've ever seen these before. And it might not be that I've never seen them. I've never looked for them either. But these are made in Italy. They're called Crostinis. And so what they are, they're just little savory crackers. These are the rosemary flavor, and I prefer these over the traditional, which I also have right here. And so they're just little crackers. They were really good with cheese. And so they come in a box like this. They don't expire until... None of that makes any sense. I don't know. Those numbers make no sense for an expiration date. But, so I picked those up. We had them with our charcuterie board. They're oven baked, made in Italy. They're okay. I, I prefer some of the other crackers better that I've put on my charcuterie boards. I don't think I'd rush out and get them again. Um, but they were okay. They were a nice different addition to our charcuterie tray for this time and I wanted to try them out and what better time so they were just okay the rosemary flavor was definitely better than the traditional I picked up these Bellina's gourmet red sweet pepper strips and these were good I liked these a lot actually I did a Christini's where I did my own baguette bread and I toasted them up and I did some of this Monte Montalbano basil pesto and so I did the crostini, some of this, and then I did some brie cheese and a pepper, and oh my gosh, that was really good together. 
But these, okay, so this one's made in Italy, the pesto. Refrigerate after opening. I don't know if this one has a better best before date. I feel like I checked them all when I bought them, but odds are I might not have because let's be honest, I was kind of in a rush. It was time to make dinner. I had my child with me. Here we go. Best before October 2023. So plenty of time with that one. And that was really good pesto. I enjoyed that a lot. The peppers also went um, refrigerate after opening product of Peru. These are best before September of 2024. We got through about half the bottle. There's a piece of garlic in there. I'm sure that's just for flavor. Really good. Like really good. I really liked that a lot. I picked up these olives stuffed with the palmentos. I'm not a huge green olive fan. As you can tell, there's still a lot left. We put them out on the board, but none of us are huge green olive fans. I had a few here and there. We're more black olive fans in our family, um, but they were good and a nice addition, especially for a dollar being that we're not huge fans and we're only going to eat a few of them. The dollar price point is way better than buying like a $4 jar and then not eating them all. And then on the sides, I did some chocolate with it. I did fruit and chocolate to go along with our charcuterie board this time. I don't usually do that, but I thought it would be fun. My son loved it. He ate cheese, chocolate, and crackers. I don't know, 11 year olds, I don't know. We only have the one for our charcuterie board, but he loves charcuterie boards, so he's the one to have with us. The other two we have to do like just regular pepperoni, regular cheddar cheese and stuff, and like Ritz crackers, which is fine. We do like a kid style charcuterie board when we do it when they're here. But so I did the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate. And I mean, it's obviously not great dark chocolate. It doesn't tell you the percentage of cocoa and all that kind of stuff, because I really like dark chocolate a lot. And I really like good dark chocolate. But for what it was, like this doesn't tell you, this doesn't even have cocoa. It's sugar, chocolate liqueur, cocoa butter, milk fat, soy lichen, and flavor. So this isn't real dark chocolate. Like I'm gonna like, let's be honest, cause real dark chocolate costs more than a dollar. But for what it was to go with our little charcuterie board, it was a nice addition. And then I also picked up these almonds, just these little packs of almonds. The chocolate and the almonds are all best before 2022. Sometime, like the end of the year. And so I got the hickory smoked and just the salted almonds and put those just along with it too. And it was just really nice to have kind of that nice a dollar addition to have some nuts and some chocolate and just those little, little pieces to our charcuterie tray. So if you haven't looked at my Instagram, it's at Amber's to-do list. I did a picture of our spread. It was delicious. I love charcuterie trays. So today is Saturday. You're watching this on Sunday and we did it on Thursday night. And then last night we just did rice bowls. So my husband and I will probably do charcuterie today for like lunch because we have some leftovers. So love charcuterie trays. They're so good. All right, let's get into my haul. Actually, let me do this little bit here first because it's like right in my way. So I picked, I'm finally picking up Christmas. I've been picking up Christmas. I'm finally calling Christmas because Halloween, like that's enough. I got the snowman. Oh my gosh, this wreath form is so cute. So Frugal J has definitely hauled this. She talks about it. She said she likes the simplicity and I do too. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to add anything to it. One, I'm crafty, but I don't know if I'm crafty enough to figure out how to turn this into a wreath. I don't know if I know how to do that. I'm not much of a wreath maker. I've been dabbling in it lately. Um, so I don't know if I even know what to do. I'm sure there's YouTube videos though. Um, but I like the look of it as just like the, the form, like the, the, he's cute. He's just cute like this. So I might keep him like this and just hang him up somewhere or lean him somewhere like on my, one of my tables or something. I don't know, but he was really cute. So I picked him up and now we're getting closer to Christmas. You know, Dollar Tree tells us so by putting all the Christmas stuff out. So you're going to start hearing me talk about the things that I picked up for Christmas gifts. I like to do gift baskets or do little put together gifts if you haven't noticed that about me by hearing all my, my talk about what I buy. And so I've already hauled six of these. I got two of each color and I saw two more pink ones just sitting all by themselves and I grabbed them because I want to make sure I have enough because all of the little girls in my life are going to get a caboodle and I'm going to put their name on it with my Cricut and then I hauled a couple hauls ago those really nice paddle brushes and so I'm going to put some paddle brushes some hair ties probably some poppet type you know the um, fidgety things because that's what's really popular right now and just kind of fill this up with goodies for each of the girls 
and I love them. I love these little caboodles. I think they're so cute. Now I have two preteens in my life and I'm searching for those flower makeup bags. Like I saw, I've seen two different kinds that people have shown. One of them had florals on it. I would take that and one of them would black. I don't care, but I'm looking for like a higher end like makeup bag for the two preteens. Um, one is like in, she's in seventh or eighth grade. Um, and then the other is in high school. She's in ninth or 10th. I think she's in 10th. So these I just feel like are a little too young for them and so I'm searching for those other makeup bags by flower so that's it keeps making me buy more and more because I keep going and looking for them and I found some floral in some of my or flower cosmetics in some of my stores so I'm hoping that those makeup bags come through too and now for the boys because caboodles don't work for boys I'm going to do a very similar concept for them oh my gosh these are stuck together and I got the little toolboxes from the tool bench section and so I'm going to cricket their names on here and just fill these full of goodies and then like like I used to have Eric so Eric would fill this up with Hot Wheels no problem or with some of his little pirate goodies or just with some of his just little toys and so I figure a lot of the boys around are the same way so I'll put Hot Wheels in here probably some of those fidget toys because boys are into the fidgets too and whatever else I come up with you know, if they're a little bit older, even maybe some like a tape measure from the tool bench section or some of the fun little things like that. And so that is what I'm doing for the boys. They're the little toolboxes. And so I need seven, I think, and I found four so far. These are a regular item. For some reason, a lot of my stores didn't have them. So I will keep looking for them. I'll come across them in plenty of time. I'm not worried about those. Um, for food items, I picked up, well, besides my charcuterie board, I did pick up some more of this oatmeal. My son and I really like it. We're the only two that have had it so far. The gingerbread was good, too. Gingerbread's not typically my flavor. It was actually really good. I would eat it, like, without a problem, but I didn't pick up more because pumpkin spice, I am a pumpkin spice girl all the way around, and my son really liked the hot chocolate. So I grabbed one more of those because winter is coming, colder mornings, just wanting the nice um, oatmeal for breakfast. And then I picked up some Boom Chaka Pop white chocolate popcorn. I haven't opened it yet, but it looks really good. And every so often you just want some popcorn. So I got that. And then, so tomorrow, but today is a birthday party. I need to go to my best friend's daughter's having a fun little gymnastics party. And I have already hauled two books that I got for her. I got her the Rainbow Loom book where it's just a loom book I guess where you make um, animals out of the little rubber bands and I ordered from Amazon I got her a loom kit to be able to you know use with that book and then I got her two of the duct tape books like the tape it and make it and tape it and wear it and so I had already hauled and bought some duct tape so I was going to give that to my kids but I never did and so I'm going to give it to her for her birthday because she is just a little crafty little thing and I think she'll love it and so I picked up these holographic duct tapes for her there's one more in here somewhere but it's a full bag and so so far I got the purple and the silver I think there's green in here somewhere I grabbed this mat because you have to be able to cut things I was looking actually for the like the little roll cutter you know that rolls but I didn't find any for her so um, I didn't end up picking that up for her I I was trying to do it in order but like this bag is just full of stuff so I'm not gonna be able to do it in order for you guys I picked up oh here's the other duct tape it's more of a blue so I got the blue holographic duct tape so we got three duct tapes for her I'll try to keep those in order I have to wrap them up since the party is tomorrow I got two of these boxes I love them I got the reindeer one it says do not open before December 25th approved by Santa North Pole Express Mail special delivery oh I love this I love the mailbox look or the post postage look like that I love and then this train one the North Pole Express I love this too I think it is so pretty the North Pole Express I just I feel like this looks so high-end it looks Hallmark to me like both of these look so Hallmark and Hallmark costs so much more money and they're both Greenbrier but I mean they look like something you'd go buy for like $7.99 at Hallmark to me so I had to pick them up I got some candy. This is probably my only fall item in here, I think, um, to fill some jars up for fall slash Halloween, um, like coffee bar, which I'm working on. That's going to be done here in the next like day or two. But I got the autumn mix because I like the pumpkins in them. I don't like the candy. I think it's gross, but, um, I'm going to put them just to have them in the, the, um, 
little jars for looks. I picked up a couple more of these candles. I'm noticing that I just like to have them around. I think that they give like a nice little look and I have some like tea light holders and stuff to put them in. So I just picked up some more. They were really hard to find for right around Braxton's birthday party when I did the Harry Potter party. So when I see them now, I just keep grabbing them. I grabbed this container. So I did my whole pantry and all my baked items are in here. So I have regular flour, South self rising flour and I have those in the taller ones I have sugar brown sugar and these smaller ones and then there's like the like smaller ones that aren't this exact style they're kind of more square shaped and I have like cornstarch baking soda and some of the smaller stuff in those smaller ones and we just got um, a big bag of rice to do in our instant pot and so I didn't have anywhere to put the rice and so I bought one of these to store that in while we cook through that rice we love rice bowls a lot and so need to store the rice i got these i don't know if i'm going to use them yet i was crafting yesterday and i got the styrofoam pumpkins and i was thinking about putting these in the top to use them for floral and i haven't decided if that's what i'm doing with them yet but i have them on hand just in case i change my mind so i grabbed those i grabbed these gloves they are a beautiful color my coat is white i have white and black and so this will go with either and there's just so soft and I think in the mornings when I have to take the kiddos to school like just you know it's chilly out this will be so nice to have to keep my hands warm so grabbed those I am working on my trunk or treat for Halloween this year and I bought cones to make witches hats and I thought these would be perfect to be the ring so I'm going to do two bracelets together and you know make them into a loop and they could be what they have to ring the the hat hats with and so that's why I grabbed those and then I was thinking it gets kind of dark because the chunk or treats at dusk and then it gets dark so I might go look for some of those solar lights like the pumpkins or whatever I didn't really look at them this year because I didn't need them but I think maybe if I get some of those solar lights they can help light up our games so I'm going to go and look for those I got this cute birthday card for I think this one was one of the 50 cent ones for the birthday party for Layla tomorrow happy birthday Layla if you're watching this because it'll you'll be able to watch it after your party thank goodness um, to add to her gifts, I picked up this crochet hook. I was reading about rainbow looms and that it's nice to have an extra hook to be like the holder hook. And so I thought this might be helpful for her when she is doing that loom. I picked up these fasteners because when I was looking through the jewelry or the make it and wear it book, it called for some um, Velcro fasteners. So I grabbed some of those to add to it. I grabbed her some scissors so she'd have her own set of scissors to cut through all the duct tape. I grabbed her a ruler and this one is sparkly and clear. And so I got that so she can measure out the lengths of things that she needs. I got her some floral wire because again like some of the bracelets and stuff called for floral wire probably to make it bendy and stuff. And so all that's going to get added into her birthday gift. I got this bow to add to it and I'm not doing it gift basket style this time I just grabbed a gift bag to put it all in so I got emojis to be honest I would have picked something better but there was not a lot to choose from at the store that I got the bag from so, so I got that now this was a wish list item I'm so glad I found them oh one more I got her paper clips too because that was also on the list of things to do for jewelry was paper clips um, so wish list item were these masks my son has to wear masks to school. He is in this weird in-between size. Kids masks are too small. Adult masks are too too big. And I don't want him to be uncomfortable, but I want him to have masks that fit. And so it's been a really hard thing to try to find them. So I found these in hopes that they would fit. We pulled one out and he tried it on. They're too big, but they're 100% cotton. So I'm going to try to wash and dry them and see if I dry them in the dryer on hot, if they shrink a little bit and to make them a better snug fit on his face. And so I got two boxes of the whites. They are 10 counts in each. So they look like this. They are soft. They feel like um, t-shirt material. And then they got the little bendy part in the nose. And he, when he tried it on, he did do the loopy trick where you loop them and then put it through your nose, you know, and then it's a little snugger on your face. And that worked. But I'm going to try to wash and dry them and see if that makes them smaller to fit him better. Because, yeah, he's in like this weird in-between. So... I picked up one more of these signs. This just happened to be just sitting by itself. I did a craft for Halloween with it and I love the way it turned out and so I wanted to have extras to craft with so I picked up another one. I picked up some 
cupcake liners. My husband, I'm, he took the kids with him to the grocery store and they came home with Halloween cake mix. So it's like green and green frosting with eyeballs and stuff. And so I figured we can make cupcakes with them. So I got the black and white cupcake liners to do with that. And I don't have a need for these, but I saw them and I needed them. I think Katie Velez hauled them. I'm pretty sure that's who I saw haul them. And I'm like, those are adorable. I've seen them several times when I've gone, but I haven't paid attention because I just see the front one. And this goes as cute. But the fact that you get three different designs in one pack just got me. And I almost bought the pumpkins too, but I didn't. And so I got this little ghost who's just cute and happy. The one who is, you know, super scary and says boo. Such a cute little ghost. And then just the grouping of ghosts. I don't have a need. I'll probably just go on my Halloween totes at the end of the year unless I come up with something I need them for. I picked up these little hair clips. These are going to go in one of the little caboodles. So Daisy was born, my new little niece. I can't wait to go see her. She was just born the other day. And so I'm going to do a caboodle for her too, but I'm going to obviously not do like the big paddle brush. I'm going to make it for babies. And I think that this might work for her, you know, in a several months with these little clips. So I'm going to add those to her caboodle. Um, for our gift baskets or for adult gifts, I was thinking about doing little miniature charcuterie boards. I've been really on the charcuterie kick. And these are hard to find. I don't always find these in my store, the bamboo cutting boards. But I was thinking how nice would these be? A bottle of wine. I'm looking at some knives. I don't know if the knives are good enough to buy at Dollar Tree. So I might keep looking around elsewhere to maybe find like just some little like meat and cheese knives. And just do like a little miniature charcuterie like board. So this is what we do for the kids. So we have our big charcuterie board and we just do one of these small ones and just do like mozzarella. Just the regular like bricks of cheese, some mozzarella, cheddar, Kobe Jack, and then some like Ritz crackers and like pepperonis, like regular, just, you know, pizza pepperonis, and the kids love it. So if you do charcuterie boards, but you have kids that don't necessarily love them, it's basically like a Lunchable on, a, on the little tray. So these are Cooking Concepts bamboo cooking boards, cutting boards, I mean. Um, I'm gonna borrow Layla's ruler. They are about eight and a half inches by just under six inches so they're small but i thought just for miniature scooters like it's nice to have those on hand and just to use as um cutting boards too so they're hard to find i saw some i grabbed them i was excited and lastly from this bag i finally found this it was on my wish list as well to be honest i didn't look for it very hard until i was like wait i want to look for that it's the Soil Love Laundry Stain Remover. I have seen several people haul this, and I have seen a lot of good reviews for this. So that's why I decided that I would grab it um, or try that out. And then I have some makeup in here. Just a few things. So from e.l.f., I had already hauled the small taper brush, which I've been using for my highlighter. I haven't used the jelly highlighter yet, but for my regular powder highlighter and I love it. And then I found these mineral powder brushes. So they're just a little bit bigger up here on the fluffy part. So the other ones are tapered. So they're the small taper brush, they're tapered and this looks like it's bigger and fluffier. So I grabbed a couple of those. I found this flower eyeliner brush. So it says ultimate eyeliner brush. I don't think I'd use it for eyeliner per se, but I do watch people do makeup on YouTube a lot. Bailey Sarian, she does her makeup and she tells um, true crime stories. I love it. But I see where you get eyeshadow and you just kind of dab it underneath and kind of use it on your your line like as eyeliner. And so I think I might use this to try that out because none of my brushes are the right brush for that. So that's why I grabbed this. I've seen so many other awesome e.l.f. brushes going around. I hope I find them like the big powder brushes and stuff. Like I've seen so many great flower things going around. I hope I hope I find them. What I have also found, I found the foundation. So this is the Ultimate Foundation Color Ivory Tint. It looks like it might be kind of watery. I don't have scissors over here to try to help get this off. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm not going to swatch it today, but I will pull it out in another one. Oh, oh I got it. Because I do want to see what the consistency is. Oh, it's got a brush on it. Has anyone else hauled this? Look, it's got like its own little brush. I had no, I did not pay attention to that at all. I don't know how this works. 
Okay, so the makeup is coming through the brush. Oh, it's thicker than I, it's a lot thicker than I expected. Okay, so that's that on there. It's definitely a lot, I thought it looked like it was going to be watery. It's not watery at all. Like, it's a lot thicker. It might actually be a decent color, at least to even mix in with some of my darker colors while my tan is fading. All right. It's, uh, yeah, I'm excited to try that. It smells like makeup. So it's an EE, Erases Everything Foundation. I had to look that up. I didn't know what BB and CC were. So BB Blemish, CC Correct. I can't remember now. I had to look it up. I was like, I don't know what all these mean. But, oh, that blended in really nice. Like, you can't even see it. That might be a good color. Awesome. So I like that a lot. So I just got the, one of these for my sister, and I did. I had these in a bag. I didn't realize that they're the same color, but that's perfect because that means they're great for giveaways. So this is the Miracle Mac Metal Matte Metallic Liquid Lip in Bronze Addict. Addict, And um, I just swatched this on my last haul because my sister sent me one, and so I'm not going to open those because I'm going to use them more for giveaways since I now have three of the same color, which is awesome because I love to share everything. I got this B Beauty Essentials. I finally saw the display for the B Beauty Essentials. And so I grabbed a, just a couple things that I thought I'd like the color for because I'm not gonna buy stuff I don't necessarily like the color. So I only grabbed two things off of it. And so this one is in Considerate. And then I got the Black Volumizing Mascara. I'm gonna do makeup. I'm gonna try to keep scissors near me because it's easier than not. So this is kind of a pretty gold color. Oh, that's pretty. So granted, I'm only using my finger, but it's just got like a nice pretty gold shimmer to it. It's not like a heavy, and I might, you know, you probably build it up, but just a really pretty gold shimmer on that one. I like that a lot. And then the mascara. I see the wand. I'm always curious about the wands on them. So the lot came out. And it's just got like the regular mascara wand. I don't know if putting it on my finger is the best idea, but it seems like it came off kind of light. So, I mean, I'll give it a try. We'll see how it works. I've, I don't, haven't found like a good mascara at Dollar Tree yet. I order, it's the Essentials, something Essentials from Amazon. It's $4.99. I love it. I love it so much. All right. And then I have one bag from Target. I think there's literally three items in here. I bought some vinyl. Now that I've already pulled the orange out because I bought it for the orange. So these are six 12 by 12 sheets. What I learned with this though, make sure when you're at Target, like so I scanned it on my Target app just to see if there was a coupon because it's Cricut, it's a name brand, sometimes there's coupons. In store this was $8.99 and when I scanned it with my Target app online it showed that it was $7.49 and they price matched it for me. So I got it for $7.49. And so, I mean, it's a dollar fifty that I saved, and any little bit helps, right? So make sure, like, if you have the Target app, scan. If you don't have the Target app, get it, because, you know, why not? I grabbed this cute little pumpkin, because it's kind of that bluey green color that I'm adding in. This is called a foam pumpkin. He was a dollar. Hard, and, you know, I'm just going to add it in with all my pumpkins, because it's kind of a different pop of color. And then lastly, I wanted some towels, so I grabbed these ones. I'm looking for Halloween towels. I need to actually look at my bins to see if I have any, but um, they didn't have any Halloween ones, but they had this one that says Hello Pumpkin, and then it's got the pumpkins and squashes on the other side. So I thought that that was really cute when I decorate for fall. So guys, that is everything I have today for my haul. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate all of you so much. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to go check out Jay and her awesome breast cancer giveaway because she is amazing. And check out my Instagram at Amber's To Do List. I love to post pictures after my hauls of the stuff I've hauled or just kind of some of the things I'm doing. I, I used a bubble mask. I used the e.l.f. bubble mask the other night and I um, took a picture and I posted it. It was a little scary. Like it just kept foaming. Like it just kept getting bigger. Um, but it felt really nice on my skin. So there's that. But it just kept getting bigger. So I posted funny pictures of that because why not, right? Um, 
And so yeah, join my Instagram. You get to see kind of the up close pictures of a lot of the things. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.